Back to the charts with Big Boss Crypto, bringing you another day trading analysis on Bitcoin and on AVAX. Bitcoin took a nose dive yesterday when Janet Yellen spoke. We went all the way from 27.5k down to 25.8k, which I could predict beforehand because we had a lot of liquidation points in the 25.8k area. So, where do we go from here? Well, let's look at the charts. Janet Yellen spoke yesterday which tanked the market to the downside and NVIDIA all of a sudden shot to the upside the stock NVIDIA. But we're talking about crypto now and day trading. We saw that we have some volume cans to the upside here at 27.2k and 26.7k which is up for grabs for the market maker to grab. To the downside however we have the Volume candle, which is on filled at 25k. A lot of open orders in that area, which hasn't been filled. And we're going to take a look at the liquidation map if we can see some uh, coin signment with the open orders. We also have a lot of open orders in the 20k area to 21.5k and from 22k up to 23.8k, which could be up for grabs in the coming days and weeks. We completed the double top formation uh, in April. We had the first leg down, second leg down. We are in the last retrace to the upside before we finish it off with a W bottom formation of some kind. And that is where we will reverse. And I usually tend to go along when I see something like this going on. When I see a double bottom formation, I usually tend to go along. When we confirm it on the one hour candle close above this high in the middle and that is when I ride out to the upside. Not financial advice, that's just how I prefer to trade. You do whatever you want to do. This is just for education and entertainment purposes only. So to confirm the last leg down we need to close a one hour candle below this low right here at 25.8k which we didn't do yesterday, which in my belief, we could see a retrace to the offset again, possibly recovering these candles to the offset at 27.2K, but also we could go up to 28K. I'm considering that that might be a possibility in the next coming days, because a lot of people have been going short yesterday, thinking that they're gonna grab some money, but I think the market may want to liquidate those people which came in yesterday. But if we close, I want to can below this point right here. You could ride out and take some profits around the 25k area or possibly the, the 22k area. Something you might want to consider, but it's not financial advice. Looking at the news events yesterday, Janet Yellen spoke. And it wasn't good, the market didn't react good at all. And we'll see what comes after this because we have two more days to trade for the stock market. And we'll see what they will do today. They might push price up and then sell off on Friday. That's a possibility. However, we don't know that yet. In terms of news, we have the unemployment claims coming out today, which could shock the market even further to the downside. And we have the PC numbers coming out on Friday, next week, bank holiday in Europe and in the US, which is going to be a slow trading day in general. So Tuesday is when the next trading week starts. And we have a couple of news coming out. We have the jolt show openings, non-farm employment change and the non-farm employment change on Friday next week. A lot of news coming out during next week. If we take a look at the liquidation map, we can see a lot of liquidations around the 27k area, 27.1k approximately, is where we have a cluster of liquidations and we also have volume counts in that area. So today could be a day where price moves to the upside before trapping a lot of retail traders and that is where they will reverse price and move to these targets to the downside. 23k we have a liquidation clusters as well and at 24k area 
to the upside not much except for the 27k area not much is going on until we get to 33k but there's a long way to go there so make sense of all of this information i just gave you and trade responsibly not financial advice you do whatever you want to do let's talk about avax so avax took a bleed to the downside to yesterday as well and currently we've seen a possible sharp recovery from avax we have a vic here as you can see and we also have a volume candle in that candle as well which is usually an indication of a reversal of some kind and we have volume candles which hasn't been recovered to the upside yet we have these ones these two uh, has not been recovered yet up to 14.35 dollars we also have another candle at 14 0.62 dollars and i do think we could recover the one at 15 dollars as well in the next impulsive move to the upside if bitcoin moves up and we get good news from the unemployment claims today and if we zoom out a bit we can see on the daily time frame that or maybe on the four hour that we completed somewhat of the same market mix structure as we saw on bitcoin Double top, first leg down, first retrace, second leg down. We are waiting for our second retrace. Possibly it could happen during the next couple of days. We move up to, let's say, $15, and that is where we'll form the last reversal and we will move to the downside in a last attempt for a double bottom formation at $12, possibly. That's something I'm looking at because the closest one you can turn down some is at $20.7. So wait for today's and tomorrow's moves. And you could see that we will recover this big volume candle right here from $13.71 down to $12.71. So around the $13 area is where you possibly could start building some longs if you're interested in that, not financial advice. But build them in three steps like this. When the volume candle is recovered, that's where you ride out to the upside. Or wait for the double bottom formation. That is the safest bet. When you see a clear double bottom formation of some kind, and you see a one hour candle close above the double bottom formation, that is where you want to place your bets on to the upside. Not financial advice, however. We could also move down to $10.3, down to 9 seven dollars in the next impulse to move down because that's where the next volume candle is and uh, yeah we'll see if that happens there needs to be big big shock in the crypto market for that to happen in uh, a couple of hours but the first dog is however at fifteen dollars that's it for today i hope you learned something and we will talk to each other next week see you soon big boss out